It's all been cleared up now. Germany has made a decision. They've released a document. They've released laws telling you how you can stay in Germany with one of these and also one of these. This video is basically me just compacting the points down to a really, really quick video to tell you that you can stay in Germany if you've got one of these, just as long as you're living and working in Germany and stuff like that. So let's get into the finer points right now in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So just a quick background about my life. I've lived in Germany since 1999. Uh, up until 2009, I was stationed here in Germany as part of Her Majesty's Armed Forces in the British Army. Now, uh, the documents that Germany released says that this is actually you practicing your freedom of movement between 1999 and 2009 because I was a British soldier in Germany. So this, although you might think that uh, you weren't stationed, you weren't a part of Germany or living in Germany, whatever it is. You were stationed in Germany, which gives you the right of freedom of movement whilst in Germany. It's an important part. Now, but because I have a British passport, it says European Union, I come from the United Kingdom, I live in Germany, that gives me automatically the right to live in Germany anyway. And that is not going to change. And Germany has stated this, it will not change. You still have exactly the same entitlement as what you had previously. There are a few things that you need to do in order to have that. Now, if you don't do these things, then you don't have that entitlement based upon the withdrawal agreement. But I'm going to discuss those finer points, the things that you've got to do in this video. So just remember, as long as you've got one of these and you are living in Germany and working in Germany, um, then you can have uh, the right to continue to live in Germany. Like I said before, Germany will give you a ID card that you'll have. And together with this, you can then travel around Europe and have the same entitlement that you had before. But that only applies to uh, Germany. So if you want to go to other countries like Holland, Belgium, Spain or whatever, then you're going to have to have um, you're going to have to follow their laws and their rules about it. Now, it can be that the British government make um, deals with other countries, but Germany has decided for uh, UK citizens or UK nationals that you are permitted to live and work in Germany and still. All right. But anyway, there we go. I've kind of I kind of told you the, the answer that you want to hear already, that you can still continue to live in Germany and travel around Europe as you did before. So let's get into the final points right now. Good. So as mentioned already, um, Germany will give you an ID card and a passport. The only thing that you've got to do is you've got to go to your local foreign authority, um, like your Auslander AMP or whatever it is in your local town, and declare that you are living here in your town, which they know that already. But you've got to go to them and say, hey, British national or UK national, I'm living in Germany. This is my address. And they go, oh, yeah, Herr Thorn, I see that you're living here and you've been, you've been living and working here. And uh, they will then uh, give you... Um, they will then, then give you your um, your residency card. Now, you're not just going to get it like magically like that, but that will be the process started. The, the document says that you've got to go to your local foreign authority to um, inform them that you are living here and you are a British citizen and you want to continue living in Germany um, based upon the withdrawal agreements. And so this is what you've got to do. Now, I can hear some of you going, but wait a minute, I've already done all this since Brexit has happened and I've got like a residency card and, and everything like that. No, you haven't. Right. That says that you've got that you're allowed to live here. But this was just temporary basis. Everything that you've got now doesn't mean anything. You still need to do all of this. And the document, the link in the video description below says that you've still got to go to your local lo foreign authority and inform them of this. And you will then get a new ID card that they will that they will have. Now, there are other laws and so on about whether you've got like permanent residency or whatever. That will all be done at your foreign authority in your local town. So the, the most important thing here is that if you have one of these and you're working and living in Germany, go to your foreign authority and they will then um, start the process for you to get your ID card that you can have. Now, when do you need to be able to do this? Well, as we know, the um, UK left um, the European Union on the 29th of January 2020. And uh, they will officially leave um, Europe on the 31st of December 2020. Now, they've officially left already. But the, the other the, the other time with Inside 2020 was just like this transition transition period. And after the 31st of December 2020, it's done with. So you need to know that you've done something after that time. Now, Germany has said, well, fine, you've got you will you will still receive all of this entitlement regardless of the fact but as Germany loves its bureaucracy, it loves its laws and it loves its documentation, which in this case is a benefit, you've got to go to your foreign authority by, and this is what's really important, right? You've got to not 
forget to do this. You can't ignore this fact. You've got to make sure that you go with your um, with where you live and where you work before the 31st of December. Right. Sorry. It's confusing. You've got to be practicing your, your freedom of movement in Germany prior to the 31st December 2020. So this means that you've got to be living in Germany. You've got to register yourself in Germany and say, I'm living in this flat, in this house, and this is where I live. And you are actively seeking for a job or you have a job in Germany. That's basically, it's all detailed within inside of this document, but in order to have your freedom of movement in Germany, you've got to be actively living in Germany. Now, because you are a UK national, you already have that right to live in Germany prior to and on the 31st of December, 2020. But in order to continue living with those same benefits, those same rights, shall we say, you've got to be able to, you've got to go to the foreign authority in your local town and tell them, I am a UK national, I am living in Germany, and I'm going to continue living here after the 31st of December. That's the also key point. You can't just be here and then get those rights in Germany. It's got to continue on after that time as well. So uh, that's the important thing to note. Right, you've got to have done everything and all of this by the 30th of June 2021. So if you haven't done it by the 30th of June 2021, then you basically need to apply for um, residency or a permit to work here and live here, just like every other country in the world that is outside of the European Union laws, the Schengen laws, that have already made agreements with Germany that you can come and live here and have freedom of movement. So this is super important that you go to your local authority before the 30th of June. Now, don't leave it to the last minute. It even says it in the document, don't leave it to the last minute. You just need to prove that you are living in Germany. You really just need to read the document about the rules of living in Germany and practicing your freedom of movement in Germany prior to the 31st of December. And then you need to prove it to your local authority by the 30th of June. And as I said, if you already have your, um, your residency permit uh, previously, you need to go into the town anyway because you need to exchange exchange it. Now, what has this got to do with also family members and wives and this, that and the other? They also all need to go with you to the, the local authority. Now, this isn't this, this isn't a, a, a blanket thing. You need to go to your local town and they're saying that you can be able to do it online as well. But just to be safe, make sure that you've done everything that you need to do about living in Germany before the 31st of December and that you have registered yourself in Germany at the local authority to say, I'm living here, this is where I live, and if you need to find a job, you have got your finding a job by that time. But read in the document, it's super clear about what you've got to do. So once you've been to the town and once you've registered yourself, you will then get your ID card. And like I said, together with your ID card, you can travel around Europe, but it gives you all of the entitlements as you had before with your passport to live and work in Germany. But you need to show them together. This ID card will also be used for normal um, displaying your ID online or verifying yourself. So it's, it is an identification card for you as well. Now, it is interlinked with a passport that has an expiry date and a, and a number on it. And if this one expires first, it, it doesn't matter. They only last up to 10 years and you've got to renew them as well. So it's not like a lifelong thing. You will have to get new ones as well. But that's all explained in the document. Anyway, the document, I've got a link in the video description below. Just make sure you read it. It is super simple. And uh, yeah, that, that is it. So there we go. We know that everyone can continue to live in Germany as per normal, just as long as you've gone and registered yourself at your local authority by the 30th of June 2021. Um, I hope this has been informative for you. I, I hope you've listened to it and I hope you know act now to do whatever it is you need to do. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like uh, dislike if you didn't like it and write any questions or comments or feedback that you have in the comment section uh, down below. If you are interested in maybe um, programming any websites or learning about programming or how to create a YouTube channel or just topics about living in Germany or you're a big Borussia Dortmund fan then I've got a whole bunch of different videos on my channel. Link in the video description too. With that said, Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. You're super special to me. And if you're on Facebook, then make sure you come and check out David's videos, my uh, Facebook page, and give that a like and come and join any of the pages that I have uh, as well. So thanks very much for watching. Um, once again, thanks very much for Blondie and Curly Fries for helping me with other videos. Um, you've been great. Right, see you in the next video that's on the screen right now. Bye-bye. <laughs>